welcome to the latest Power Score RPG Spectacular. Now, Power Score RPG, so we did the whole Tomb of Annihilation adventure, and now we're kind of wrapping it up. Um, some of the heroes just went off and went through the Mordenkainen's promo adventure, and they got back. So now there's a whole bunch of groups in Port Nain Zaru. So I, when I ran Tomb of Annihilation, I had a whole bunch of groups kind of running around in the adventure at the same time. So today, representatives from many of the groups are going to be racing against each other in um, in a special dinosaur race. So I'll be running um, a day at the races, which is an Adventurer's League adventure that you can get on the DMs Guild. This is by Rudy Rutenberg of Maze Arcana. Who is nice enough to send me like a special version of the adventure to run just for these players and 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 you the viewer who is watching this right now either on twitch or youtube so um how, here's how we're going to do it as you can see i have a ton of players going on here and i see that everybody in the ch chat is going nuts about the overlay which you know it's i i make them all the time it's not this is not really a big thing to me, but uh, I guess it's pretty good. I don't know. We'll say it. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so the groups are here. Um, day at the races. Um, I ran this once before. Uh, it's a team-based dinosaur race. This one will be a little different. We're just going to kind of jump right into it because we don't really have a lot of time. So um, the groups have been split into three. One group will be Mistletoe, Ramrod, and Lynette. Uh, kind of representing the original Tomb crew. And then on my other side is going to be the Lizard King group, which represented by Rain, Zeb. Zeb, who is now a hobgoblin instead of an elf, because he was resurrected from the dead. And oh, Pluto Ploplina, who's, whose gender was changed in the tomb. And then there's the evil Wan T group, comprised of Humility, Salazar, and Orion, who was a half-elf. But he's now a kobold, and he was kind of... Evil is such a subjective and muddy term. There's no need to throw labels. <laughs> Tunnel snakes rule. <laughs> so in this adventure, um, you're supposed to go pick your, your team jersey and mascot, but I sort of did it for you unless you have an objection. So when T, unless you say otherwise, your suits are black. And you're called the Night Serpents. Does that sound okay to you? Oh. Sure. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. If we weren't snakes, I was going to riot. Oh. <laughs> then... The bunny rabbits. Our unofficial name is the Tunnel Snakes. <laughs> you can be Tunnel Snakes if you want. True fans. Yeah. Tunnel True snakes. fans know. <laughs> I, I, heard they, I heard they rule. Tunnel they rule snakes. so much. All right. The tomb group of Mistletoe, Ramrod, and Lynette. I have you in red. You're known as Ubtow's Favor. Does that sound okay, or do you want to change that? Call it like we see it. Yep. Yeah, right. I like it. Favored. Red take a color. The Lizard King group is wearing gold, and they're mm -hmm. known as the Tomb Slayers. Does that sound okay? Sure. Mm -hmm. It works. All right. Simple and so, if you can, everybody, we're just going to roll initiative once for the whole session. So yep. everybody roll initiative. I've got it all worked out. Don't worry. So go ahead and roll. Cool. Okay, so missile, what did you get? A dirty twenty. Alright. Ramrod, what'd you get? Sixteen. Oh god, I hope there's not a tie. <laughs> Lynette. <laughs> Lynette. Thirteen. Lynette, you got a thirteen so far. So good. <clears throat> Ooh, what about humility? 23. Ooh, that's going to be tough to beat. What about Salazar? Uh, I got a 10. All right, okay. What about Orion? I, I got a 16. Oh, no. You're faster <laughs> than Ramrod. I don't even need to ask. Yeah, 16 decks. Yeah. All right. That's right, right? Okay. Get mad. All right. Pleto Plop, what'd you get? I got a 15. Okay, close, but we're fine. What about Zeb? Okay, so I know you hate pack breakers, right? Yeah. You got another 16. No! Oh. oh. <laughs> what's, quick, what's I would your... like to change my answer to 16. <laughs> no! <laughs> my dex is 10, so it's probably last, so the 16s. What'd you yeah. get on 
Ramrod, what's your dex? 14. Alright, so yeah, Zeb will be... And then Rain. I got a dirty 20. My oh. dex is a 14. Or a 15. My dex is a 15. And you are faster than me. <clears throat> you uh, win. Now, I've made a foolproof formula for initiative. So that means... So we're going to be doing kind of like group initiative as this goes. So the group that won initiative is the evil Wanty Tunnel Snakes. So on the Tunnel Snake... So I'm going to do... So each round, I'll go, okay, it's the Tunnel Snake's turn. But then you'll go, the players in the group will go in the order, the order they rolled. So it'll be humility. Uh, cool. We need to throw them something. It'll be the last thing they win all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa! All right, and then... We um, eat the Barbarian first. <laughs> yes. Yes. The Tomb Slayers are... Hope I'm tough and chewy. I, I don't think I have a, a one show your wounds for that one. <laughs> I prefer to work for my meal. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I missing here? Zeb. Oh, and Zeb got the 16, right? All right, so Zeb and then Pleadle. All right. So the uh, Oobtaus favored, the original tomb group, actually comes in third. So... Mistletoe. Uh, so it'll go Mistletoe. Ram and Lynette. Okay. All right. So they've explained the race to you, but I'll tell it to you real quick. It's four phases to this race. Um, the first phase, you're each going to have a chariot attached to a dinosaur, right? So you'll be racing through the city on a chariot with your dinosaur. And that's going to be three legs. So we're going to do three rounds. Unless. It's dragon, then I'll just wave my hand and we'll go to the next one. The second phase is the air phase. You're going to be flying on pterodactyls, trying to grab, like, trinkets that are on, like, dangling things. All right? Each of you needs to grab, uh, I think, at least one trinket before you can all move on to the third phase. What is that noise? Is someone about to blow up? Okay. The fireworks. setting off fireworks for the Oh, sorry, I can't chaos bolt. My bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that too. My neighbors always go across the street and shoot fireworks. So. Uh, C phase is the third phase, and that one is you're gonna each, each in the entire group gets on a Diplodocus or something. What is it? Uh, Plesiosaurus. Mm -hmm. It'll sail you out. There's a statue out in the middle of the bay. You have to dive down underwater and way down under the statue. There's these bricks, and you're gonna have to find uh, three bricks with your group symbol on it. Then the final phase, each group will be on a Triceratops, and you'll be racing. So each, so there'll be three Triceratops okay. size, one, you know, for each of your groups, and you're all going to be packed on them, and you're going to race to the finish. Okay? Sounds good. All right. So, let me see if there's any flavor text for the start. You're in Port Nine, Zaru. It's really nice out, but there are some clouds. It might start raining soon. So uh, there's a yeah, the whole pe everybody in the city is lining the streets, getting ready to watch. They're waving banners, uh, many gold ones, a lot of red ones, a few black, a few black ones. For the... I blow Selena a kiss in the in the crowd. Oh, nice! All right. Keep my eyes open for that little kid that I like to torture way back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the monkey. Yeah. Oh, that kid. Good uh -huh. job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Three packs of anxious bipedal lizards wait separated at the starting line. In the saddle, the route becomes clear by the ticker tape flags strung to keep the crowd along the streets at bay. Shouting is barely audible over the crowd. A hundred yards out, a gaggle of chilting children with vivid colored flags march single file across the track. Once in place, they watch the ramparts. The gnomes above gesticulate wildly to produce magically amplified trumpets. The children quickly swing the flagpoles back and forth before rushing off the track, squealing and giggling. Go! All right. First team that gets to go. Oh, crap. All right. Land phase. So each of you is in a chariot drawn by a hadrosaurus. Okay. Uh, tunnel snakes, you get to go first. So unless said otherwise you're all in a clump together okay we're all in the same chariot together i uh, know you each have your own chariot gotcha all the racers are going to be in a clump as you go 
unless something oh uh, uh, in the chat yes i am if you if you spend bits you can give somebody a natural 20. <laughs> so, so rimrod is giving himself a nat 20 as well. like yourself <laughs> <laughs> Uptow's favored yeah. microtransactions. Okay. <laughs> give yourself a twenty. Uh, why not? <laughs> let, let me get my wallet. Give me some. <laughs> did Ramrod just do it? He just did it. All right. <laughs> of course he did. All right. Of course he did. Ramrod, you have a natural twenty. I mean, yes. yay, <laughs> yay, yay for micro. <laughs> okay. How, okay. How much are twenties? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know, 100 bits, <laughs> I guess. Raise the price now that it's... Oh! Pluto just got a natural 20! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god! Um, oh so my god! Like... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Katie just spent... Just bought 500 bits! That's... She gave Can't the we team, all have a good time? She gave the... <laughs> thank you. She gave the Tomb Slayers three natural 20s and two natural 1s. Oh. oh no, the natural ones she said are for us to give to somebody else. Uh -huh. oh, no. oh my okay. god. Uh... <laughs> All right. Excellent. So, uh, tunnel snakes. Humility, you get to go first. You're all riding in your chariots, and they're all around you. What do you want to do? Um, humility is going to. Oh, Let's see. and at the end of your t turn, you'll make an animal handling check. And that'll say how well your chariot is doing okay i'd like to continue forward at a normal pace mm -hmm. um but i will let's see the component is a snake's tongue i'm gonna you see humility just bite the tip of her own tongue off uh and throws it at ramrod and she suggests to him that the starting line looks like a really good place to stay and I will cast Suggestion on Ramrod. Oh! <laughs> Pruitt, Pruitt just bought a bunch of 20s! Oh my god! Oh my god! Five 20s it. for the Tunnel Snakes! Uh, two for me, two it. for Humility, this, and one for Orion. This, this race is gonna be nothing but natural 20s. What, what, is, what, is, your, uh, what is your world's equivalent to Joaquin? What? What's your, what's your god equivalent to the, the god of money? Io, okay. actually, the God of Dragons. Io, okay. Okay, Io would be proud of everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Humility. It's your turn. What was? Uh, I cast Suggestion, but I forgot that he bought himself a natural twenty. <laughs> but we'll just use that up real fast. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's a Wisdom saving throw if he wants to make try and make it. I will okay. use my natural twenty and get a nineteen. So, <laughs> John. Wow. What are the rules for magic? Can we just is this gonna be flagrant magic, or is there gonna yeah. be like subtle? Oh, excellent! All right, yeah, no okay. harming. Yeah, or are we gonna f f fireballs at each other and use this up all great. our twenty? Yeah, oh, whatever. Be good. whatever you want. Oh, <laughs> whatever we want. Okay. Today, uh, today, the I got spare the dying ready for everybody. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's your art workshop. So I roll <laughs> animal handling, or uh, yes, animal handling, please. Okay. I got a total of 16. All right. You are doing very well on your... You pull ahead a bit. All right. After humility is another tunnel snake. It's Orion, the kobold. Yeah, I'm going to cast Sleet Storm at the closest group. DC 16 dexterity saves, or they fall prone. That's including the dinosaurs. Okay, wait. What are you doing? <laughs> I, cast, I cast Sleet Storm at the closest group. That's a 40-foot... Uh, diameter or 40 foot radius, so that's 80 foot diameter circle on the closest group. Everyone touching the ground has to make DC 16 dexterity saves or fall prone. Okay, oh boy. so, um, should uh, you're all in a clump right now, so oh uh, you want to just try to target one group. Which group do you want to try to target? Whoever the closest one to the tunnel snakes is, I'll roll for it. He's in a roll. I Leo, knew it. Leo, are you thinking what I'm one, thinking? Two, three, four, five, six. It's these guys. Oh, uh, Rain, hmm. Zeb, and Pleetle. Uh Oh, Ramrod. Okay. Some, what is uh, five more 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Ramrod. <laughs> I'm going to put my dice away if you don't you mind. Oh, so, my! There's more 20s. Oh, my. I can't keep this track is, of them all. 
This what is just the... bad for this is bad for mistletoe and Lynette specifically because we don't have twenties. <laughs> oh my god, they're giving that one to Lynette. Why? TK. Thank you, TK. Uh, Appreciate TK. the love, TK. Oh my god. <laughs> Reptile love, baby. Yeah. TK. Three we'll natural twenties. Three natural twenties a piece for the tunnel snakes. One natural twenty for Lynette. TK, you spent a lot. It's okay. Uh... <laughs> She gets something else. I don't know. I have to think oh no! That. Wild magic. Wild magic. <laughs> yeah. I'll give I'll give TK a, tw a nat twenty and land between two rivers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna... <laughs> cross promotion. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, getting distracted by all the bits being <laughs> thrown around. All right. Well, somebody please keep track because I have no idea. Yeah, someone's got to keep track of us. Uh, I have five. I have five nat twenty. Score. So. <laughs> I got, oh, what the? Hmm. Orion, I guess one of each, so we have four each. Yeah. Orion cast that spell at, so Rain, Zeb, and Pleadal, you'll each have to make a save, a deck save, was it? Yes, dexterity 16. I am also hoping that their dinosaurs have to make a dexterity save. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what they get first. I got a 16, exactly. So did I. 15 plus one. Ooh. All right. I got a 21. <laughs> All right, your dinosaurs, they got to make deck saves, right? Yep, DC 16. Hadrosaur has a plus zero. Here we go. Um, I rolled a six. <laughs> and that's Reigns. Next is Zeb's dinosaur. Rolls a three. Of course, spine falls over. And then Pleadal Plops. Here. Oh, 19 for Pleadal Plops. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Right. Two out of three ain't bad. I'll take it. And then uh, for my animal handling... That is a 23. Can you... How much damage does this do? Doesn't do any damage. Oh, okay. So it slows them? It it creates an area of difficult terrain. So there's an 80-foot diameter uh, difficult terrain. And then if they start their turn or, uh, or move into it, they have to make a save or fall prone. Uh, they also have to make a concentration save if they're concentrating on a spell in the area. But it does no damage. Okay, so let me mark it down. <laughs> Which group is in the storm? That is the Tomb Slayers storm. Gotcha. All right, and that's Orion's turn. And Orion, what'd you get in your animal handling? Twenty-three. All right. So as the race starts, Humility and Orion bolt ahead, and uh, Orion makes the storm, which is really messing with the uh, the Tomb Slayers. And then it is Salazar's turn, the Wanty Paladin. So seeing that. Uh... He took care, took care of a lot of one group. Um, the other group, he's going to whip out the crawl and <gasps> whip, it crawl! Across, whip it across and try to cut the reins of two of the other team's uh, chariots. Nice. Okay. Uh, so I can have two attacks. So I'm basically just going to throw the crawl and like cut through one on the way there and the other one on the way back to my hand. And I rolled an 18 for my animal handling check. Uh, so, Hold on, let me see. Uh, first attack, uh, rolled a 15, so that's a 23. Second attack, uh, rolled a 2, so that's a 10. So it looks like... Who are you attacking? Mistletoe. I was attacking the reins of of two mounts uh, for... The other group, right? The other group. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, it's, it's kind of a hodgepodge, so I'm not really sure who's in the other group. <laughs> Is it um, Lynette? Oh, Mistletoe and Ramrod. I, I rolled for it, and it was Mistletoe's reins that got cut. So Okay, that's fine. I don't know. Uh, just any viewers might not know what a crawl is. There's a movie called Crawl. And in the movie Crawl, the guy has this crawl, which is like a big freaking thing that you throw, yeah. and it's like a blaze. And like, so you, yeah, it's called the glaive. The glaive! Crawl. And it's like, slice! So, and he catches it. So he, so I can't steer, or the, the chariot itself is no longer connected to the dinosaur? Uh, I think you're probably still connected. Oh, it's but... still connected, because that's going to be like a bunch of other stuff. I was trying to cut the rain so you couldn't... Oh, that's fine. Right, I've got and... animal friendship. Kelly uh, gave the dinosaurs a 20. Thank you very much, Kelly, who you can see playing... Um, alongside myself on Morning Kind's Path of the Plains on the Greyhawk channel every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. That was smooth, man. <laughs> I, I like to imagine there's a banner on the side of the race that is for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like product placement. <laughs> it's like, like, like one of your characters is like really hot. 
So then you pull up a drink, and it's got the morning kind of path of the plane's logo on it. You're like, oh, that's so much better, you know? <laughs> All right. Our armor has patches on it of Greyhawk. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was Salazar. You cut the reins, then animal handling check, please. It was 18. An 18. That is a very successful roll, I must admit that much. All right. <laughs> All right, so right now, the evil Wanty are... <laughs> You know, they are they don't care. They rolled up there, and they're just dropping bombs left and right. <laughs> and then it's the Tomb Slayer's turn. So, Rain, you're in a storm. When you start mm -hmm. your turn in the storm, you have to save again. Is that the deal? Is that right, Orion? Yep. That is correct. Rain, you're in an ice storm. All right, Rain is going to use a nat 20. Oh, but um, your dinosaur already failed, right? So so he fell over. Yeah. So what do you want to do? I'm going to cast fly on him. <laughs> <laughs> just oh. lean out and just tap fly. Okay. Nice. <laughs> That's a your hand moment where your dinosaur is just going to flail while it's flying. All right. So um, in, on your turn, Kelly paid for a... Uh, a 20 for a dinosaur. So your dinosaur rolls a 20, it gets up, and then soar through the air! So his speed, I think, is 60 feet now. Oh, okay. All right. So, Rain, you are flying. Oh, I make... look at humility and I do one of these. Ooh. I hate to be a pedantic, but as long as she's within the sleet storm, she has to make a uh, save, spell saves DC 16 to concentrate on that fly. That's okay. Rain's Ooh. a war caster. <laughs> All right. Boom. Let's do this. <laughs> Ready? All right. First roll. If I fail, I get to roll again. So the first roll, I fail. But here we go. <laughs> Second roll. Second roll. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's a 16. Boom. Ooh. Rain's flying with a dinosaur. That's a power score. The, the blog about Dungeons and Dragons. All right. So it falls over, and you're like, oh, and you're skidding. And then you cast fly, and it pops up, and, it, and you whoosh, take to the air. Animal and, handling? And people in the – yeah, animal handling, yeah. I got an 18. That's good. That's good. That's good. People in the crowd are like, can she do that? And they're like, I I suppose. <laughs> are, these, are these checks? They're checks, right? Ability <laughs> checks? Animal handling? Mm -hmm. Yes. Humility saw Rain give her that look. <laughs> and I'm not cutting words her animal handling. <gasps> oh, oh, no. <laughs> no. So what does that so do? So minus seven. <laughs> no. Oh, that's Whoa. 11. <laughs> so, <Whoa. laughs> so she failed her animal handling then, huh? All right. Is, is my dinosaur and my, and my chariot doing that spiral thing because it can't figure out what it's doing? <laughs> it's never flown before. <laughs> well, failing the animal handling check, it says how far you are in comparison to the other people and how well you're controlling your animal. So your animal's freaking out because it's in an ice storm and it's flying. So <laughs> you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Best you know. kind of day. Let's do this. So you are above everybody. but uh, uh, you know. I'm coming after you, humility. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, after rain is... I believe Zebediah. Zebediah. Okay, what level sleet storm? It's a it's a third level sleet storm. Okay, I he is holding on to his new wizard hat he just bought, looking up at the sleet storm, and with his other hand he points in the sky and goes, "Be gone!" and he casts a spell magic. Okay, well you start your turn in the storm, right? Yeah. So you have to make a check or something, right at the start. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's a deck save, right? Dex 16. I... Okay. Cool. Six. <laughs> Do you guys still have 20s, though? Don't you have a bunch of 20s? No, I'm yes. saving that. <laughs> saving. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, did you use a 20? Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm not using the 20. So, you fell prone. Mm -hmm. And now, what are you doing? As an action, I dispelled magic. Oh. Now in this, okay, you can do okay. So dispel is that a level three or lower spell? Yeah. Okay. I, I could use a higher slot if I wanted to. Okay. But so no you dispel magic, okay. And then you're gonna try uh, animal handling to get your creature up and running. Yep. Here we go. Oh, nineteen. Okay. 
All right, so but you did fall prone. So right now, both members of the Team Slayers who have gone are a little behind everybody else. Uh, but then it's Pleadle's turn. The storm is gone, Pleadle. What do you want to do? I am going to touch my dinosaur's rump and sort of slap it, and I'm going to cast haste on it. Ooh, haste. Okay. Haste. So, uh, so it speeds doubled, plus two to AC, oh, oh, oh. Advan- advantage on dex saves, and it gets an additional action. So I'm what? just going to have it double move forward. <laughs> Okay, make an animal handling to control it as it gets the speed boost. Like okay. Mar- it's a uh, Mario Kart. Say... Like when you go on the arrows in Mario Kart, it's like that. That's a 15. Uh, okay, so yeah, you do it. Okay. So actually, I would say Pleadle's actually in the lead. It's like the three, the like the the biker gangs out in front, like, <laughs> you know, and then all of a sudden Pleadle's like, brown, like, whoa. Like, Bye, losers! <laughs> Referring to the tunnel snakes. Group three, Oob Chow's favorite. Mistletoe, it is your turn. What do you want to do, Missile? I'm going to cast uh, Speak with Animals. That will last the rest of this um, this race mm-hmm. in time. And I'll uh, encourage my mount without need for reins to uh, dash move forward. Oh, okay. The reins were cut, and you're trying to tell it to move forward? Yeah, okay, so we got we got animal handling. So, a modified twenty-two. Whoa! Because I have plus nine. Okay, so the reins are cut, but um, you're talking to your dinosaur. Yes, so. his name is Lenny. Uh, okay. So you talk to him. He doesn't say anything back. That's okay. okay. He just gets the job done. <laughs> All right. What a shame. Uh, yeah. All right. Boom! All right, so you're still in the race. Anything else for the missile? Um, no, not at the moment. I'm happy. Not a flavor packet. Like a, a, hearty, a hearty laugh at okay. the um, at the efforts of uh, Pleadle Pop to, uh, to overcome the, the uh, disadvantage. I encourage the other teams. Mm. All right. No, they're not... You guys got shift spice from the Gizera eyes. From Planescape <laughs> Torment, it comes in like a little tube container. And when you put it on your food, it, you imagine it and it smells. It's not like a ketchup packet. Okay. So just Isn't wanted... it though? I know. I just wanted to clear that up. There seems, there seems to be a little confusion in the chat about that. And I just wanted to make sure everybody was clear that shift it's spice doesn't come. It doesn't come in a mustard packet. Okay. Right. 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 Ramrod! It's your turn, Ramrod. I take one of my flavor packets and I rip it open and I give some to the dinosaur and I encourage it to race as fast as it can. Okay, so you get advantage on your animal handling. Oh, that's a strong five. <laughs> Do you want to use one of your like 50,000 20s? Yes, I will. Have. All right. So your dinosaur is like, Imagining some kind of delicious flavor and it's just going nuts and like Rah! so you're taking off and you're probably right up next to the bad the bad kids smoking in the boys' room kind of <laughs> Ooh man. Alright. Hey, After- humility. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> After Ramrod is Lynette. Yeah. Lynette's just sitting kind of like weirdly in her cell. She doesn't quite know what to do, but she's gonna try and go for it with this dinosaur that she obviously hates. So she, like, reaches into her robes and pulls out the gem of brightness and aims <laughs> it at, like, the, um... Let's just say the, um... Night Serpents. The mounts. And I'll... It's a 30-foot cone. I want to hit their dinosaurs. I want to hit them and their dinosaurs with it. Rude! Um, okay, well, right now they're a little bit ahead of you. So mm. how do you want to try to get close enough where you could get an angle on the eyes of the dinosaurs. You want to I was sh- like, s- s- mm. you just I, will sl- I will slap my dinosaur on its ass to get it moving. Uh-huh. I will misty step 30 ahead and just on the ground, just, Ooh. just aim it at them. Okay, so you're going to actually misty step ahead of your chariot. So you, you're standing in the thing and as mm-hmm. the others are kind of riding by you're going to gem of brightness them yep 
And then you're going to try to jump back on your chariot as it comes by. I'll just I'll just run until like it figures it out. I'll figure out something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, um gem of brightness, how does that work? It is a um uh, everything must exceed a DC 15 con save or be blinded for 1 minute with saves afterwards. Wow. All right. So, tunnel snakes, please make that saving throw. What was it? Con? Nat 20. Also <laughs> nat 20. Oh. Yeah, same. Hard oh. same. Nice. Oh, you're not rolling. I see. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But <laughs> I ask, what about their dinosaurs? Uh, oh. oh. What kind of save is it? It is a con save, and it's a 15. I only have a plus one. Humility is uh, six total. What about Salazar? A 13 total. Close. And what about Orion? An eight total. So all three of their dinosaurs are blinded unless somebody's... No! This is... This is a it, wondrous magic so item. Did the rules specify we had to be on our dinosaur when we crossed? No. Or did we have <laughs> oh, to cross? Yes. No, it's very loose, loosey goosey. This so, is the one this is the wondrous magic item that I'm using to mess with the race. So, <laughs> so Lynette appears next near them, di blinds their dinosaurs. We're like, whoa, whoa, you know, now they're like, uh oh. Um so we'll all right. And then Lynette, your your dinosaur is gonna ride by you. Do you want to try to make a check to get back on? Oh my god! Yeah, like I'm gonna acrobatics. Go. Oh, that's gonna be really good. All right, um, acrobatics. Yeah, let's see. No, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> I rolled a two, which gives me a three. So so it just it just goes right by. <laughs> and you're like, where are you going? <laughs> so all the dinosaurs are just like. Bah. <laughs> okay. Now I just wanted to in the chat I couldn't help but notice that you guys uh a couple people in the chat who are um not in the game seem to be a little confused about the shift spice. It does not come in a packet. <laughs> <laughs> not much. Maybe they packaged it. It's not it's gaming DM, it is not gift catnip, okay? <laughs> I don't do drugs in the game. <laughs> So, Flower King, looks like you're being... You got got the hang of it. TK so, so you can't good. you can't fold it in half and put it underneath the lid in the outhouse as, like, a prank? It's Shift Spice. It's very... It's a planer... Uh, you know. It's a planer... It's, like, a very unique and valuable thing that you wouldn't put in a packet and just hand out to customers. <laughs> so, because of our time constraints... I'm going to say that you guys get to leg two, the air phase. Oh, no. Oh, you get on it. your pteranodons. Each of you is going to get on a pteranodon. So ah. I would say that, Lynette, you're lagging like you're going to have to run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. I would I would like cast, since we're, I would cast the mentioned door to get myself faster. I'm, oh, I'm you not gonna... oh, all right. Well, we got to wait till your turn. So, all right. Yep. Um, so let's see here. Here we go. We're going into phase two. So let me see if there's any flavor for you for phase two. Real quick. Uh, oh, okay, you're going to be harnessed to a uh, young Pteranodon. An official will warn each group to grab at least three trinkets from five bars. Uh, yeah. So you're going to be soaring over the city. Sort of like in Superman 64, that really old Nintendo game. Where there's the hovering uh, rings and you have to grab, you're gonna have to grab stuff from them. It's a bullshit game. Yeah, it's so, a bullshit game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried really hard to get through those rings for. A <laughs> okay, so uh, we're at the top of the order. Humility, Tyrannodon. Okay. You, so we're getting each group needs to grab a total of three trinkets, and then you can continue on to phase four. All right. I shall fly forward trying to get to a trinket, um, but I'm going to use Minor Illusion to create some fake rings for people to grab. Oh, that's... That's not really... Okay. It's not very nice. Excellent, sister. Right. <laughs> Minor Illusion. All right. Um, do you, what, what's the... If someone has to save versus that, like, what's the DC? Um, you can make an investigation check. Okay. Um, 
right. Let's see. Against my spell save DC. All right. Which is let's just pick another spell. Um uh investigation check uh DC 17. Okay, so some of them are fake. All right. So now in this phase, you're gonna need to make two checks. Uh slight if if you want to try to grab a trinket. Well, you cast a spell, so uh, okay, you'll you will need to make an animal handling check. Uh, okay. If you fail, that's you lose control of your creature and you kind of crash into a building or whatever. And you take some damage. You said that so casually. That's awful. Yes. <laughs> animal <laughs> handling. Okay, I got I got nineteen on the die plus right. some stuff. That's good. Uh, gaming DM. Okay, it's more like complimentary mints in a hotel room. Yes, I uh, those are delicious. Yes. They're like, those are good. All right. After humility is Orion. Orion, you get on your Pteranodon. You need to get yeah. three trinkets. Yeah. Uh, Orion takes off on the Pteranodon and cast wait, Control oh, wait, wait, Winds. I forgot. I forgot. Your dinosaurs are blinded. Make a. Are they still blind? The hadrosaurs? You dinosaurs. Well, getting. Okay. I just. Just make a. Uh, Orion, make an animal handling to see how if you can guide your blind creature. So it'll be with now I can I all I always speak with animals like that's my shepherd class feature. All right. Does that have any? So normally I would say you. I got a twenty on my animal handling. Okay. So normally I'd say you have disadvantage, but in this case you would just have regular advantage. So you I just roll the I mean, and the king of the dinosaurs as well. Okay. And uh, don't forget that part. <laughs> But Orion okay. urges his pterodon forward and casts Control Winds. Uh, that creates a 100-foot cube that he's going to target immediately on his tail. Uh, so everything behind him has a strong headwind, meaning it costs one extra foot of movement for each foot moved. It's not difficult terrain specifically. It just costs you extra movement to move okay. forward and for then 100 feet. Make an animal handling for your creature that you're on now. <clears throat> there That's is. 27. Okay, you're fine. All right. After Orion is Salazar. Make a blind dinosaur animal handling with a disadvantage unless you have something to... Uh, well, I, I would have cast Lesser Restoration to take the blindness away, like, immediately. Okay. All right. Uh, if so, you'll allow that... To... Yeah, you're riding? That, that will be your action for this round, though. But you can't oh, um, well, then I don't want to do that. Can I just use a nat 20? Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> well, what I mean is um, you could still... You could unblind your thing, and you could get on the, the other dinosaur, but you wouldn't be able to grab a trinket, basically. Okay. Well, then I'll just make a roll. Here. All right, oh, so you're going to try to guide your blinded creature? Yeah, get so that range. would be uh, yeah. 14. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, um, hmm. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, it, good enough. It gets kind of gets you there. You know, it starts to, like turn right into a wall, but you're able to jump off and just go, ah, okay, and you get to the next... All right, and you're getting on your pterodactyl. Yeah, and I'm and seeing as how I see my compatriots doing things to, to slow everyone else down, I'm just going to go try to grab a trinket. All right. Uh, all right, so you're going to make the two rolls. So, sleight of hand, you fly to a ring. You try to grab a trinket as you pass by. Okie dokie. I'm going to use an at 20. <laughs> you grab the trinket! <laughs> and then... Um, you can make it animal handling to see if you scrape a wall or something. Holy shit, I rolled a fucking nat 20. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you do not scrape a wall. All right. So the bad kids this time around made some illusions and they got wind to mess with everybody else. Now it's Tomb Slayer time. Rain, you're flying. <laughs> and you're so, do I have to switch dinosaurs or can I just hang on? You can just hang on! <laughs> okay. Can right. I get within 60 feet of Humility's dinosaur? Uh, yes. I'm gonna cast Banishment on her dinosaur. Oh. <gasps> That's so mean! I know! <laughs> it's a, it's I'm a really proud of you! <laughs> it's a charisma <laughs> saving throw, Sean. For the dinosaur. Charisma <laughs> saving throw for the dinosaur. For the Pteranodon? Charisma. It has a minus three. <laughs> 13 minus 3 is 10 her dinosaur vanishes from underneath her <laughs> I would like to cast feather fall <laughs> whoa okay now I had actually um, I can tell you exactly how many f I was prepared for this so oh. I can tell you exactly how high up you were uh, with the single oh, roll no. of the die so you were 40 feet up 
So you can. Yeah, I'll I'll cast Featherfall. I haven't. I'd never got a chance to use it in the tomb. This is really exciting. You're welcome. Um, Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> Curse you. <laughs> Very slowly. All right. Uh, uh, animal handling. Gaming DM wants to know about if the Wanty have natural twenties. I have three left. All right. So sounds. I like have things. one left. Okay. So there you go. Gotta make. Gotta use them. All right. So that was uh, Rain's turn. You. Uh... I got a twelve on my animal handling. Okay. All right. Uh, that's that's exactly what you needed, actually. So you're fine. So Rain, you you're on your chariot and your thing is flying. <laughs> okay. And you're, uh... I wave at humility as she falls past me. Now, wait, hold, one second. Banish, wait. Banishment on a dinosaur? Banishment, mm -hmm. doesn't that take you to your home plane? So, let's see. But is it, well, no, it puts it in a pocket for a minute if, it, oh, if you're already okay. on your own plane. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. all right, got it. Okay. Um, so I'm falling really slowly. Uh-huh. <laughs> And Rain is on a really big dinosaur that also has a chariot. Can I grab a piece of her flying situation and try to climb on? Who's? Me. Rain's. Um, well, she was not right next to you. I mean, um, if you have okay. some kind of, like, whip or something, or, you know. Um, well, well, you gotta, uh, well, you'd have to wait until. Intestines, till, that's you'll, about it. You'll have to wait till your turn anyway, okay. but on your next turn, you might be able All to right. do that. Okay, I'll just, I'm, I'm flying slow-mo. Because the intestines would be pretty good, there. All right. Uh, so that was Rain's turn. Yep, I'm done. Sebadaya. All right. So you're uh, on your thing. You gonna get on a pterodactyl? Yeah. Okay. So I'm seeing all these dirty tricks, and he was gonna save this for a clutch situation, but I think he's just gonna use it now. All I right. cast Conjure Woodland Animals, and I summon eight pixies. Oh. You summon eight pixies? Yes. Okay. And then I have all eight of them. Wait, how many people are we down here? I have six of them cast polymorph on everyone else's dinosaurs and turn them into bunny puppets. All right, wait, you summon <laughs> eight pixies? Yes. And they can cast polymorph? Yes. yes. Once wow. a day. These, dinos these poor dinosaurs. These poor dinosaurs. I, this is animals. where I hate to be a stickler. <laughs> Usually, okay, no, ahead, usually you usually you have to roll to see what you summon, but there is only yeah, like yeah. two Sean, options. Sean, it's up to you. What's the other option? What's, only a, what's the other option? I forget what the other option that for that CR range it's, for. It's, just, it's a pain for the DMs to have like look up the CR of fade creatures that are like one fourth CR or lower. I guess what I, I what's what spell is this? Conjure woodland beings. I think. <laughs> see, I have the SRD. What CR is Pixie one? One fourth. One fourth. Wow. Conjure. Let's see. Yeah, it, 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 you Using D&D oh. Beyond, oh. it is quite easy. Yeah, I was going to say, I just pulled up the list on D&D Beyond. <laughs> Sprinkle the flavor dust on the bunnies. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's valuable. You don't just waste it on little things like that. A little bit. Conjure. No, wait, there's Conjure Fey, but you did Conjure Woodland Creatures. Yeah, Woodland Beans is the lower CR for me. Oh, yeah. okay. It's a saving throw for all those dinos. The, the saving throw is 12. For the saving throw is 12. Mm -hmm. Wisdom and, saving throw. Yeah, I'd like to point out the gaming DM just gave uh, 500, <laughs> so five nat 20s for the Yanti Dinosaur Protection Pool Fund. Yeah, that's probably yeah. good. <laughs> Someone, I mean, mine's All already finished, are fine. but... I mean, somebody put like 20 plus years into raising these dinosaurs that we're doing this <laughs> year. <laughs> FYI, there are three CR4 Fey, Pixie, Sprite, and Blink Dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, wait now. Pixie, Pixie's in the monster manual. Yeah, I got them. I got them up right now. They uh, um. What CR are they? One more. And they can cast polymorph. Yeah, yeah. Yes. This, yeah it's, this it's is a, a great. This is a, a great, great use of the spell. Zebedai <laughs> is a hobgoblin wizard now. He's all about battle tactics. Yeah. yeah, when you roll up on a big bad and just do that and just eight polymorphs on the big bad. <laughs> All right, so, works. so five yeah, of them are casting polymorph. Um, however, enemy, however many enemy dinosaurs there are, since Mers or Millie's, uh dinosaur is banished. Oh, so that'd be five. Minus one. Yeah. So you're gonna have so, one try to polymorph each dinosaur. Right. Orion's will use a nat twenty from the protection fund, and so will so will Salazar's. Okay. Okay. Um, the other three pixies. 
We're we'll uh, use their polymorphs on your guys's that you made the same. Well, let's go through once first, and then we'll go back around. Okay. So, wait, humility. Are you going to use? <laughs> are you going to use a twenty? I do not have a dice. Oh, you're falling, right? Okay. But thank you for rubbing it in. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Lynette! <laughs> Hold on, you're muted, Lynette. Lynette, you're muted. What what uh what are you doing? Oh, is this for the flying dinosaur? Yeah. Your pixies the pixies polymorphing your dinosaur. Turn it into a bunny. Bunny. Would it would oh, it then be a flying bunny? Hmm. I'm wait. gonna let it be a bunny. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I will roll it for it. Okay, wait. The other mistletoe, ramrod, and Lynette aren't on theirs yet. Are you gonna try mm -hmm. to transform their creatures before they even get to them? Yeah, sure. All right. Mine fails. <laughs> I rolled a six. That thing is that thing is a bunny. Excellent. Right. So ramrods. Ooh, seventeen for ramrods. Sorry, ramrod. Nothing personal. Mistletoes got a thirteen. Plus, uh, what, what's the what what what, what kind of wisdom? Is Wisdom. Uh, minus one, so 12. So it makes okay. 12. Power score. Uh, well, yeah. 12 right. is the so that was five pixies, and now you want three, Look, three, three how, other how many passed? How many dinosaurs passed? So one, two, four. three, four. Four. Four? Yeah. Uh, four of the five passed? Uh, I think so. I think I rolled 20s, oh. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, the... You're burning through the 20 protection fund of mm -hmm. the... Uh... Okay, well, the last three pixies also use polymorph on some of the, of the ones that pass. All right, wow. so you want to go with Orion? Uh, specifically the tunnel snakes, because okay. they've been playing dirty in seven. <laughs> Orion, are you going to use another 20? Dinosaur. Is that my dinosaur that's a target or Orion? <laughs> oh, no, definitely the dinosaur. dinosaur. Oh, yeah, I'll use the 20 on the dinosaur. All right. Yeah. Salazar. Yeah, same here. I'm going to use another corner. <laughs> that's, fair, that's fair. One pixie left. You want to do another pixie on either Orion or Salazar? Um, actually, wait. Um, on, on the you got that windstorm going, right? The control winds. Uh, that last one on its action instead of using polymorph uses the spell magic. All right, it's the fifth level spell slot. Oh, it can't do it then. Never mind. Uh, um, yeah, but then that that last one doesn't do anything. It, they just all fly with me. I just have this army of pixies with me. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I still need to do my Imagine a tiny right. Ride of the Valkyries playing in the background. <laughs> Pleadle, do you uh, run up to your pterodactyl yes. and you get on? Yes, of course. All right. Uh, I'm going to take off and I'm going to cast a uh, Storm Sphere up on the Tunnel Snakes. And I'm going to careful spell it so that uh, myself, my dinosaur, Zebediah, um, Rain, and mm, Zeb's dinosaur are protected from it. All right. So you're Storm Sphere. So who's getting Storm Sphere? Uh, whoever's up near the trinkets. So I assume Salazar, Ryan, maybe Humility if she's still in her <laughs> No. She's... I'm falling. <laughs> so Salazar and Orion are going to hit, hit with a Storm Sphere then, right? Okay. She's feather falling, so she could be flown like a feather. That's true. She... <laughs> so, what kind of save do they need to make? Uh, a strength saving throw. All right. So, Orion, strike save for the storm sphere. And I'm gonna give Salazar one of those nat ones that Katie gave us. No! Oh my god! <laughs> so, Orion, what'd you get on your storm sphere save? Uh, my save for the storm sphere was fourteen. Ooh, did that make I... it or did that fail? It that fails. Okay. So, so what, what happens? I uh, let's see. Take some bludgeoning damage. Um, the sphere, which is forty feet all around, uh, is difficult terrain, and yeah, you just take some bludgeoning damage. It looks like and it's difficult terrain. So. Okay. You, you just realized that you just changed the uh, outcome of this game, right? <laughs> Doing damage now, huh? He did first first oh, yeah. blood. All right. First blood. <laughs> that's that's All right. totally fine. All right. uh, I keep concentration on the control wins, which does like cost everybody double movement. Um, and uh, that's, uh, I guess, I don't know how much damage I take. Uh, I will roll if you'd like me to. Uh, just five bludgeoning damage. All right. So um, Orion's Pteranodon needs to make the save to you, right? Yep. It's DC 17. All right, I rolled. Ooh, I rolled an eighteen. What kind of save was it? Uh, strength. Uh, I made it. Okay, so the pteranodon is okay. Does it take any damage? No. 
Okay. I don't believe so. Now Salazar got a nat one, right? <laughs> so he takes five. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And his dinosaur got an twelve that fails. Yes. So the dinosaur takes five, and it is also affected by this slow or whatever. Yep. All right. So minus five. It's hurt, not bloodied, but hurt. Kind of okay. bad. It's also a uh, disadvantage to checks to listen in there as well. So just so that comes up. <laughs> okay. Is that it for um for Pleadle? Yep. Looking at the clock, they're, they're about to at the end of this round. They're just gonna wave you onto the next leg. <laughs> 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 They're gonna I'm be gonna here all out. night. I'm, I'm the only person that's actually grabbed a trinket. I just want to point that out. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Can I can I use quicken spell lightning lure to pull uh, it out of Salazar's hand? Uh, is that it? A, is a cantrip. Is it a cantrip? It is a cantrip. What's the range on lightning lure? Uh, fifteen feet. It's fifteen, but can I use distance spell to double that to thirty feet? I guess. I don't. You can't use meta to meta. Uh, Darn it. Uh, you can't use two metal on the same spell. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. So that was Pleadle. Okay. All right. Ubtow's finest. Mistletoe. There's, there's a lot no going on. Left. There's no Up animals there. left. <laughs> this looks kind of crazy. So, there's no animals left? No, I don't. I have no idea. They're all bunnies or like. Well, that's like standing there with a bunch of rabbits. <laughs> what am I going to Save them for dinner. <laughs> a bag. But didn't, uh, uh, didn't ours save? Yeah, yours did, did yeah. And I think Randall's yeah. did, too. Yeah. So I'll just run up to mine, uh-huh. and I will I see all the crazy wind stuff going up there, and I'm going to uh, hop onto it, um, hold tight, and uh, cast Freedom of Movement on mine. Uh-huh. And that'll allow it to ignore spells that either cause difficult terrain or affect mm-hmm. speed. Okay. And, so, uh, all right. and then you're or, gonna... or entanglement. And, you'll make and I'll just go to uh, the trinkets and now, grab them. Casting that spell, was that a regular action? That's an action, yeah. Okay, so you won't be able so... to grab any trinkets. All right, but, you but can I'll make get a close. Animal handling to fly your creature. Oof, natural one, which becomes. Well, it's a fail, it's a natural one. So. Okay, so you nearly collide with humility, but ah, instead you hit a building! And you take six points of damage. Okay. All right. Um, after oh. after mistletoe is Ramrod. Okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Ramrod's just gonna like casually walk around and look at all of this stuff going on around him and feel really at home. Take out another flavor packet, open it up. Oh no, he's got a munch, and just casually walk over to his dinosaur. <laughs> he's not gonna look hurried at all. <laughs> A citizen in the street says, "You shouldn't waste that. It's I can tell it's from, from the plane, sir." <laughs> he takes another flavor packet and tosses it at the person. <laughs> it's just a container. There's no packets. <laughs> he runs. Away. I can't possibly take this. It's so valuable, sir. <laughs> he feels like taking advantage of you. All right. So, um, so you casually get on your dinosaur and you doing anything? Um. Yeah, I guess try to fly up and grab a. Okay. Make, make a sleight of hand. Whoosh. Sleight of hand. Uh-huh. Eight. Oh, all right. Yeah, you go right by it and you nailed it. Make it animal handling to avoid colliding with a building. Um, all right. Fourteen. Okay, you do not collide with a building. Then it is Lynette's turn. Lynette, you were walking, so you're... <laughs> and I think yours was turned into a bunny or something. Right? It was. Okay. It's no longer mine. It was no longer mine the second I got off it. <laughs> so what do you want to do? How far away from me am I from the rings at this point? I don't know. I wrote it down. Uh, uh, 40 feet, it looks like. I'm going to do something really stupid. I am going to dimension, my do- dimension door myself onto the pole... With the uh, with the trinkets. <laughs> okay. Uh, just gonna... Try and grab them. Yoink. Okay, make like a acrobatics or whatever just to hold on. Um, you know, I'm gonna use my ten. And... You know, I'm gonna use my twenty. I'm I'm gonna use my twenty. Mm-hmm. I'll use my crit. All right. So you 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 dimension door up, and so there's like these rings held up by poles. You kind of you reach out and you you grab a trinket. You're one of the. Two. Is it a trinket though? 
It's. Oh it, no! It, All right, hold on. Is it really? Oh no! I forgot. Wow. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. Make a investigation check. Twenty-two. Oh, 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 so you look up. You're looking around, and for a moment you're like, ah, right there. But then your keen wizardly senses tell you, no, you fool. Do you see how it flickers? And then you you do a different one. So you are not tricked by the illusion, but you almost... There's something slightly snaky about that trinket that's up there. <laughs> it's just an Ouroboros. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, yeah, so that'll be it. All right. So everybody down below, like a lot of the, like the staff, you know, are looking up and they're like, you sh just send them on to the neck. They're all going to be dead in a minute. And they're like, all right. So they're all yelling, you just go to the neck. All right, all right so... Uh, I would like to take one of the rabbits. Okay. You have, you have a rabbit. All right, so... It's tunnel snake time. Humility on your turn. You scoop up a rabbit for free. It's not an action of any kind. And um, they're directing you towards a friendly looking water bound dinosaur known as a plesiosaur. We should probably just do a garbage round real quick where you all get on and go. So on this garbage round, real quick, all three of you uh, Wanty team can get on your plesiosaur and start heading out. Do you want to do anything special? Uh, yeah, uh, Orion's going to cast Water Breathing on all three of us. Okay. All right. Um, Humility uh, is going to walk up to Salazar and say, you're bleeding. And then she's going to position Salazar and Orion behind her and cast Synaptic Static on everyone else. What does that do? Um, which is uh, a 20-foot radius sphere. So I guess whoever I can fit in that. Yeah. Um, and it is an explosion of psychic energy, which requires an intelligence saving throw. So you want to target another team, basically? Yes. Okay, well, um, do you want to include their dinosaur in it? or do you want to Oh, no. I do, and I will choose Rain's team. Of course. <laughs> ah! oh, there's blood. There's blood. All right, so is, what was it? there's a saving throw involved? Uh, yes, a DC yes. 17 intelligence saving throw. Yes. I'm going to use one of my nat 20s. So, <laughs> the dinosaurs. The dinosaur got a negative two. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lowest save I've ever rolled. Ever oh, my, my God. <laughs> Damn you, please, you sword. So, what happens um, if you fail? Um, you take half of the damage that I'm rolling. Um,. Which is uh, 24 uh, psychic damage. So 12 psychic oh, damage. Well, I, I failed it, so I take the full, right? Oh, if you no. fail, you take 24. And for the next minute, you are muddled. During that time, oh. you must roll a d6 and just subtract that number from all attack rolls and ability checks, as well as constitution saving throws to maintain concentration. Oh, and you can make an intelligence saving throw at the end of your turn to try to end it. Okay. I'll, right. I'll just say straight up, all pixies are dead. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, all right. So, so everybody's getting on these sea bound dinosaurs, right? So, humility, you did that. Orion, doing anything special? You did the water breathing. Salazar, do you want to do anything special? I'm going to use my channel divinity to uh, do conquering presence as we astride the uh, get a stride on the uh, plegiosaur. So, everybody within 30 feet, going to need a wisdom save, or you uh, are frightened. Okay. Um, it's my left. I should pick a team. Which team do you want to do that? To? Uh, the other team from the one that mistletoe, ramrod, and Lynette, Wisdom and, their, and their dinosaur. Oh. Wisdom save. Twenty six on my wisdom. Um, uh, are you targeting the, ple the the water dinosaur? Uh, all every everything over there, all of it. Well, okay. Well, I'm I'm my I'm just so you know. Mysteriously, mistletoe is not going anywhere near the water dinosaurs, so that may take into consideration. Something. Oh no! Oh you, no! You have to all ride on that dinosaur. Oh, that's. I'll when when it's my initiative, I'll tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, so my oh, dinosaur so failed. Water dinosaurs, very cute. You, you just said a dinosaur. You didn't say that dinosaur. Uh, that team's dinosaur. Yep. Yes. Please, yo, that, that team and its dinosaur is the one so, I'm targeting. If you fail to save, what happens to you? You're frightened. Okay. Of me. Okay. For one minute. Anybody fail to save or do you all make it? Mm -mm, I made it. I made it. Oh, okay. 
26. Right. So that 26. was Sal. All right. Uh, the Tomb Slayers. Rain. I think you just got hit by Static. Um, before we get too far, since all the Pixies are dead, the Polymorph instantly goes off. Where was that bunny rabbit in your inventory, Amelia? Oh, no. Oh, no. My, <laughs> my backpack explodes. <laughs> It's, it's a flying backpack. The wings come out. Yeah, flying backpack. Yeah, I wanted to like <laughs> emphasize the frightfulness of Salazar. <laughs> Just the tiniest. Are... <laughs> you literally make like a uh, make a dex uh, save to see if you fall in the water. Um, what do I add to it? It's a thirteen. Uh, plus... okay, hold on. Okay, that's good enough. All right, yeah, so 19. it explodes out of your backpack, like screeches and like terrified flies, just flies off. So uh, all, probably all the guts or whatever that was in your. I bag. was saving that for later. <laughs> okay. That was oh, no! our dinner. Oh no, my guts are coming out of my bag. Yeah, the oh, gut bag. I'm demoralized. Oh, yeah. uh, Zeb will pay. <laughs> Oh, very funny gaming DM. The backpack explodes like an overstuffed gift flavor packet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is because that doesn't happen. Like, you screw off the top. It's, there are, there's holes and you just spice. It's like a spice shaker. So it doesn't have any. That description is nonsensical. All right. So, Rain, it's your turn. Okay. So, when I cast the banishment on Humility's Mount last time, what you didn't notice was. My dinosaur isn't flying anymore, but mostly crash landing in the direction of where oh, I'm going no. because I don't concentrate on fly and banishment. So I kind of crash land at the edge where the dinosaur is to catch up with Zeb and uh, Pleetle. Uh -huh. And I'm also going to uh, cast water breathing on myself and Hobgoblin Zebediah as I kind of come in for a crash landing. Do you want me to roll something for like, I mean, I think the dinosaur gets hurt real bad. I'm going to try to like. Oh, just do down for the animal limit. handling, I guess. To oh boy, it. yeah, I got a six. <laughs> oh, See, seeing this happen, uh, Featherfall's a reaction, right? It is. Uh, I cast Featherfall on both you and your dinosaur. Okay. So I float down and hand on Zeb's shoulder, cast water breathing, and then jump on the the floating dinosaur. I'm gonna roll a special roll here. All right. Also, I got a 24 on the save versus Humility's uh, thing, so I took 12 damage and not 24. Poor animals. Orion. Poor so animals. you hear like you know when a, a World War II like a plane crashing noise, like, uh, and so all of a sudden you see like a dinosaur with a chariot behind it, like coming right at you. Make a deck save to avoid or right. I mean, can I cower and avoid it like a kobold? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Deck I don't know what that does. I don't know. Make a deck save. Let's see what you get. Mm -hmm. Where's my dex? There you go. Oh, 17 okay. plus All right. tw <laughs> unnatural 20. So, um, the WAN T team's like getting on their their thing, and like all of a sudden, the dinosaur explodes out of her gut bag. And then, like, <laughs> so you're like, ah! And then you're like, ah! And you know, the dinosaur's like, and just misses you and hits the water. Like, there's a big splash. All right. Um, and rain, but rain, you came, you jumped off the chariot and feather falled onto the plesiosaur's back. Yep. All right. That was Rain's turn, right? Did Zeb go? That was. No, he has yeah, not gone yet. All right, Zeb, your turn. Okay. So, do does anyone look like they're in the lead, like a group in the lead? Since we're on no. one big dinosaur, and they're like, no, I thought this was still right. the garbage round. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's 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 I I guess I guess it's just like we're getting on this dinosaur round, so it's a garbage round in that sense. Okay. Basically, at this point, you're all just fighting each other. While you... <laughs> like... mm. This is truly cannibal so, run. So, yes. is, is this garbage round, or do I actually can I actually do things? Yeah, do a round's worth of whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm assuming the tunnel snakes are in the lead, right? Yeah. I cast Wall of Force in front of their Flusiosaur, and I make it like a like a like a curved wall. I cast Counterspell. Oh! Good idea, good idea. Oh! Wow. That all was right. a good idea. Yep. Is that it for Zeb? Yeah, that's all I can do. Pleed off! My... Okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. I am going to... This is the most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is epic, come on. <laughs> We're never gonna get all... <laughs> I'm going to cast uh, Polymorph on the Tunnel Snake's Plesiosaur 
and I'm going to turn it into a scorpion. You can use the last nat 20 for our ah! dinosaur. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready for play? Damn you, Salazar. Uh, I, mm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use another quicken spell, and I'm going to use shape water to try and help our plesiosaur along as best I can. <laughs> okay. All right. After that is Mistletoe. All right. So I'm... So Mistletoe is staying on his flying dinosaur, and he's kind of doing a zigzag, so coming in for a strafing run, so that he's going to time it where he's just near uh, Lynette and Ramrod as they're getting on their water mounts. At that point, he will cast water breathing on them. Oh, okay. Uh, on them and himself. But, mm -hmm. as a reminder, my dinosaur still has freedom of movement and with water breathing combined with freedom oh, of movement the water nice. does nothing so my dinosaur is going to fly through the water oh. at dash speed for a whatever a pterodactyl does okay all right so um, just oh, barrel just, roll just, just, into the, the water just to be clear there's there's only three plesiosaurs one for each team so everybody's basically piling on each one, except for a missile who is staying on his yeah, dinosaur. I'm, so I'm you, just flying through the water so on a pterodactyl. You, you water breathe and you zzz, you're going into the yeah. water. Yeah, okay. and, the, and the, our dinosaurs too. Okay. All right. Um, all right, after missile is Ramrod. So as Mistletoe is coming down to do his strafe water breathing thing, instead of getting on the plesiosaur, I'm grabbing onto his dinosaur. Oh, nice. okay. All right. Woohoo. Make like a, I don't know, acrobatics or something. Acrobatics. 20. Ooh, okay. Nice. So zzz, grab, and you guys are going into the water. Or are you going to fly? It's appropriate. So you're actually going to dive into the water right away? Barrel roll right into it. Oh, Top speed. barrel roll. All right. Lynette, your turn. I'm going to wall of force sphere around the tomb slayers. <laughs> what, really? It's really? a 10-foot yeah. radius, so I think you can. Yeah. Uh, yep. I, I was going to do that, but I kind of wanted to let people breathe. But no <laughs> <laughs> you can breathe. You have rounds. So browns. you're sealing off the uh, the Tomb Slayers and not the Wanty, huh? They're in a bubble. They're in a shimmering orange bubble. Some of the crowd is like, I wow, I, hmm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's hope for you yet, Lynette. <laughs> what is it? Okay. All right. So, like, rules are rules. <laughs> All it's right. the Tomb Slayers, the steel chair. It's a betrayal. <laughs> so, the next Our round. Out of nowhere. The next abstract <laughs> round is. Um, oh, thank you very much, DWD stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I, I hand wave a lot, but thank you. Uh, so, this one is going to be where you see you 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 ride your dinosaur out to that statue, and then you dive down, and you got to find your bricks, right? But first thing I want to know before we do that round is you, there's a group trapped in a wall of force. <laughs> so everybody else is taken off. Like so, you've got the Wanty. Like I think Sal's are striking a fearful pose, and they're roar, you're sailing off, and then you've got Lynette alone on another one, while the other two dove barrel rolled into the water. They're just going, and you guys are like, in you know, mimes like trapped in like a you know, oh, there's, there's a wall here, you know. So it, holy cow! Wow. Gaming DM. A natural twenty for Dendar's favorite dinosaur. Two crits for the crawl wielder Salazar. Ah. Two for humility. Wow. Mm. Mm. Wow. So what is the team in the force wall of force gonna do? Because you're right now you're looking at you're gonna get left behind here. Let's see. How far are we from the statue? Well, it takes a minute to get to it, so um how far away are the other is uh Lynette's dinosaur from us? Is it within 30 feet of me? You can't cast anything through the wall of force. I think you can. You can can't you? I'm not casting no. something through no. it. How far away? Well, I'm, I'm just. This is abstract. I just want to know. They're yeah. Starting to take off, and what do you do? I just need to know if she's still within thirty feet on her dinosaur. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Why? I misty you... step on the back of it. Oh. All right, <laughs> so cool. I'm right behind her, holding on. Okay. So Zeb's like, okay, no, here's the foot. Where, where do I go? <laughs> All right. Now, what about Zeb and Pleadle? What are you two gonna do? 
<laughs> team team slay ass crack. Team mm. slay ass yeah right. Do you okay, have any way um, out of this, or are you too stuck in the wall? Okay, I cast dispel magic on the wall, and I was hoping maybe Pleetal, when we can, we both polymorph mm. eventually. That's what I was saying too. Maybe. All right, so you are going. And you can you, you can cast through the wall. I just checked. Oh okay. It you can't. Um, or are you dispelling it? It can't be yeah. dispelled by magic. Okay. It cannot. It can't be dispelled by dispel magic. It can't. Okay. Oh, interesting. How long? Uh, got how to long, disintegrate it. Yep. How long does the wall last? Up to ten minutes. <laughs> okay. Humility cackles. Unless you hurt Lynette. Unless I. Unless you want to. Unless you you knock me out or something. Oh. Okay. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. In, That's fine. Instead, um, Cleetal. Let's see this. Do. You, are, will you be able to teleport out? No, but I got an idea. All right. I trust you. I cast Dimension Door in myself and my dinosaur. Oh, okay. And <laughs> over top... Now Pleetle's just sitting in this ball alone. <laughs> Dimension Door over top of my head. It just land on her. Ow! Well, wait, wait, wait. Rain is on that, too. <laughs> I don't know that. Just, just do oh. it. All right. Do it. All right. Um, Lynette and Rain make dexterity save. <laughs> I yeah. used my other nat 20. Okay, <laughs> you, uh, you and my deck save, my god. Nat 20. Okay, so... Okay. Are you, no, I rolled a 20. The two dinosaurs, like, you know... <laughs> one one falls out of the sky onto the other one, and they're like, ah, you know, and you all, the, you're all the in real. the water. Meanwhile, the Wanty are just like, you know... Do, 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 <laughs> dinosaurs are the real victims. All right, <laughs> Pleetle, what are you doing in there? You're all alone. So how far are the Yonti from me? Well, this is all kind of happening right away. I just wanted to see how you handle okay. it, see how far ahead they got. So well, they're, 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 you know, zero. Okay, well, I'm going to cast Distant Spell, Charm Monster on their Plesiosaur then. Okay. So it has to make a Wisdom Saving Throw. Matt, 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hate right. this so much. All right. On on the following round, just so I know, what do you try to do? Uh, I, I can't really do anything. You're just going to have to be in there? I'll sit here like... Ah. All right, Rain, you're in the water, and so is Lynette, and there's two dinosaurs, like, rolling around fighting each other. What are you two doing uh, in the water there? Me? I'm yeah. on top. I'm on top going, like, Krakatoa! <laughs> <laughs> If if the uh, if the one T dinosaur is within sixty feet, I'm casting. Well, dang, uh, I'm gonna cast a banishment on the Cobalt King because he took my ring I wanted. <laughs> okay, wait. Well, right now you're in the water. Mm -hmm. Um, like what kind of components is that? Because I am a war caster, so I don't actually have to use somatic component or uh. The somatic, I just have to do the verbal. And what, what's the range on banishment? 60 feet. Okay, because the, their dinosaur, it's been at least around. Their dinosaur has a speed of four, so it's 80, it's 80 feet away at least. Oh, boo. Yeah. All right, I cast fly on myself. Okay, so you're going to start <laughs> flying? All yeah. Right. And what about Lynette? What are you going to do? You're you're looking at being left behind. Do you have anything you can do? or going to swim. <laughs> <laughs> She's, okay. She has water. I mean, she has water, but she's gonna, she's gonna try. She's just gonna try and swim down. Okay. So is that actually motions for you to get up up here? All right. So it looks like we got here. Mistletoe and Ramrod are vroom, way ahead. Rain is gonna be vroom, but then the entire evil doer team is gonna be like, vroom, and then way in the back, you have got like breaststroke, like you know. I mean, <laughs> she's swimming like a fish, though. She's got water breathing. And yeah, Weedle's like stuck yeah. in his. <laughs> also, also somewhere back over the city, uh, Humility's dinosaur that I banished pops back into existence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so small. now we'll do the brick <laughs> round where you get to the statue and uh, you get down. So I'm going to change it up slightly because based on who gets there first. So I think that Mistletoe and Ramrod, so Mistletoe, uh, mm -hmm. you need to dive down and get a brick that's got your team symbol on it. You're supposed to get three total, 
but yeah, you're at least Rick. one. Yeah. If there's some stuff that we might have done that might have affected how quickly people were moving. Yeah, yeah I would have had like a water, yeah. Okay. Out of range by the time that happened, because we All were right. so fast. All right, we're, we don't have a lot of time, but okay, let's do one real quick, okay? We'll go through the whole order. Just because so. everyone else got to do stuff. Everyone well, else got to try to attack. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I, I assumed you were just sailing ahead. And, yeah, oh, no, no. I'm no, gonna, no, no, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm going to dispel that ahead. flying dinosaur's uh, freedom uh, of movement. All right, uh, so let's do that. And I'm going to use a nat 20 to do it. All right, so. I'll use a nat 20. No, no, it's a save against it. It's, isn't it a save? Uh, it's a caster check. It's a caster, caster check. check. To overcome oh, your DC. Right. And I'm going to use right. a nat 20 to do that. Humility. Yeah, fair enough. Go ahead. What, did you, what do you want to do on your turn? Um, As we're approaching the rings, I the second I'm 500 feet away from them, I would have dimension doored over and started collecting. Bricks. Okay, so you're going to, you just immediately dimension door all the way out to the statue. And sh okay. All right. Yeah. Salazar, what did you want to do? Uh, oh, wait, who's next? Uh, oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Ryan is there anyone in the lead still? Oh, the flyers. Is there ahead of us? The flyers are looking like like mistletoe and ramrod. They're underwater, like and then rain is like. So there's nothing that says I can't cast a watery sphere underwater, and I am going to uh, cast that on the closest one that's ahead of me. They need to make a DC 16 strength saving throw or be restrained. What is the range? Uh, freedom of movement would stop that. So is is Salazar first, or then you? Uh, Orion goes, and then Salazar. So wait. Orion's... Well, how many people? How many people have freedom of movement? Hold on a second. Oh. Orion, what's the range on ninety? Sphere? Okay, ninety. Okay, and what was the speed on your dinosaur? I think it was. Well, you said it was area moved uh, eighty. Pterodactyl was dashing. Okay. Uh, you you had touch touch though, right? Before you dove in, and he grabbed. Yeah, yeah that was from a previous so... turn, so there was no stopping of movement okay. from the flying. Uh, yeah, I think they might be out of range. You also might not be able to see them because they're. Underwater, so you want to try something else? Uh, let's see what else I'll do. Rain I think is up there flying. I don't know if you want to <laughs> yeah, um, I think instead, if I can't see them, uh, tidal wave is 120 feet and we'll push them back. <gasps> oh, how far is Orion from me? I will counter spell that. All right, I'm within range. What's, yeah, I don't know how far we are. Feet what's, away. what's the range? Counter spell 60 feet. All right, now they, their plesiosaurus swim 40, so they're at least 80 feet away. Okay, they're 80 feet. Okay. So All right. Then I'm going to pull the tidal wave and push it back. So they'll be pushed back uh, 30 feet okay. if they... You're doing a tidal wave on the guys on the dinosaur, right? Yeah. All right, oh, now guys on the like... dinosaur, oh, do you have dinosaur. anything to react to that? I mean, what's the save on it, the tidal wave spell? 16. And what, what kind of, like, what is it? A DC, like a uh, I'd say, thing? oh, what is that? Uh, Dex. Dex, Dex okay. 16. Oh. All right, so. Um, so do we all need to make it, uh, including the dinosaur? I think so. Yeah, it's got a 10 by 10 by 30 area of effect. 10 all feet right. wide, I'll, 10 feet tall, 30 feet long. I'll, I'll use my natural 20. Okay. Um, what about and... Ramrod? Uh, I rolled a 19. Okay, and the dinosaur has freedom of movement, so is it not effective? Is that the deal? Yeah, anything that would okay. move or restrain or force a, um, a check to alter movement. All right. So Can it answer. knock some? Oh, I guess you already passed. Well, it's it's, it's going to be 11 bludgeoning, and then if anybody failed, they are knocked prone and pushed back 30 feet. 11 bludgeoning? So we, we take 11 bludgeoning? Yeah. If, uh, do we have that if we made the save? Yes, half first and save half. for half. Okay. All right. All right. Let me see the Tyranodon. Uh, okay. What's the, the DC is a what? 16, dex. All right, the Tyranodon is hurt really bad. Just so oh, bad. no. Really bad. <laughs> the I don't know. It's underwater. Tidal wave. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, ah. All right, so that was Orion. And then Salazar, what did you want to do while you're... I was casting to spell magic on the Pterodon that's got free mm -hmm. movement. So it's underwater. <laughs> What's the range of dispel magic? Yeah, 120 this? feet. Oh. Don't. <laughs> well, all right, make a, make a perception to see if you can see them underwater. That's kind of the... the I'm going to use an app 20 to do that. All right, you see them. <laughs> ah, just spell magic, so it shuts it off off the fly. The yeah, and I'm using an app 20 to okay. uh, do that. Okay. So the fly okay. the fly is shut off. Okay. So uh -huh. Tyranodon has two hit points left. It's underwater. <laughs> And, and is underwater. Going to probably die. <laughs> oh, it's got <laughs> water breathing. It's got water breathing still. So right. there is that. All right. So it's still moving like a fish <laughs> through water. Uh -huh. All right, because it gets a swimming speed. All right, now let's <laughs> let's do the brick round, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Dude, we're running out of time, so we're gonna do... 
Do I get reactions to that stuff? <laughs> no! It's abstract! <laughs> Alright. Uh, go first. <laughs> we, we got a sense of it. Alright, so... Okay. Uh, a little bit of time passes, right? Uh, humility, Orion, and Sal. So, oh, Humility, you would actually... You would, you would uh, dimension doored, right? So you, yeah. you appear there, boom, you go down under the water, and you're looking for your brick. Uh, How many bricks do I need? Well, there was three, but there's a dude there who's just like... Just take one. Just get a brick. We... <laughs> it's getting dark out. <laughs> I will get a brick and then dimension door, if I can, back to... Oh my god! All right. <laughs> to find a brick, you must make... You must make an investigation check. Natural 20. Oh, you found your brick! I see you. Pew! Swim. There it is. Yoink. And then you cast Dimension Door. And get back to my dinosaur and let's turn this ship around. Okay, wait. How many All 20s right. are left for the, the tunnel snakes? I think a lot. I've got four Eight. left. Eight. Not anymore. All right, now wait. You're underwater. Can you cast that spell underwater? Does it have somatic components? Or do you have water breathing on you? I don't remember. I have water breathing on all right, me. Alright, so whoosh! Alright, so you get alright, so you <laughs> so you come back and you got your brick. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Um Orion, you got your brick. The guy's like, you can turn around now if you want to. <laughs> Orion, what do you want to do? Anything special? <laughs> I'm just controlling the mount and uh, and keeping everybody off of us. If anybody comes near us, I got a watery sphere for them. Okay. <laughs> Salzar, you want to do anything special? Uh, I'm going to cast Bless on all of us. And yeah. Okay. Continue. Bless the this mess. <laughs> Continue the conquest. Okay. Um, group two, the Tomb Slayers. Rain. So you're flying, right? Mm hmm. Okay. So you get there fat. I mean, Humility did this in like, I mean, She's right. Gonna be there and back, you're still gonna be whoosh, so they got a real head start on you guys. But Rain, you're gonna fly over there and like whoosh, mm -hmm. dive in and look for a brick. I am. All right, make an investigation to find a brick with your team symbol on it. I rolled a natural one. <laughs> oh no. Do you have Did a you really use your twenty? Oh um, yeah, I've used both my twenties. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, so Zeb, uh, Hi. you're back where there's two. Dinosaurs rolling around in the water. What do you want to do? This is abstract, so I, mean, I just want to know your overall strategy here to uh, get out there and get your thing. Which dinosaur is really hurt? Was that the one that I landed on? No, it was one of the Tyrannodons. <laughs> <laughs> right now, drowning. They have no yeah, yeah. Not drowning. It's just not. Swimming. It's like a water breathing. Mm. So, how far away would that one be from where we're at, you think? Oh, uh, like 100 feet, something like that. Uh, I can hear that, sorry. Like a hundred feet, something like that? Oh, jeez, okay. Um, <laughs> I want to go heal it. It's too far away. Um, I am uh, the prize, one, Eb! I am the prize! One, one tear goes down this, this hobgoblin's face. Very strange to see in a hobgoblin. And um, I cast haste on, on my dinosaur. And we just... Well, right now you get those two dinosaurs are fighting each other. So what? How do you want to? What do you do here? Oh, they're fighting each other. Okay. Yeah. That's the end. Yeah, because we uh, landed on the other one. Hmm. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so you have to. Uh... Can I attempt? Me? Okay, let's maybe an animal handling check to try to. Yeah, sure. Off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my natural one. Okay, so you separate them, and then you're going to sail one out there, and then dive mm -hmm. down to get a brick? Is that the yep. deal? Okay, yep. so you're going to be way behind. I just want to see how your brick dive goes. Actually, so, you'll be... The Wanty team, once you get your brick, are you going to turn around and come back? Okay, so, Zeb, you're going to be going this way, <laughs> and they're going this way. This is going to be awkward. Okay, I go. Oh, God. <laughs> what do you do, Zeb? I go, this is a mighty fine race. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys Billy do any... has a severed arm from her back that exploded, <laughs> and she just waves that at Zeb. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's a uh, salary. I gotta arm. hand it to you. That's a pretty good wave. Oh. She immediately frowns. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Uh, oh, Salzar or Ryan, you gonna do anything special as you pass by Zeb? 
how high off the ground is Zeb? He's not. He's on a dinosaur just like you are. I'd like to take him off the dinosaur with a watery sphere. Oh, jeez. That, oh, that's, <laughs> that's a DC 16 strength save. Uh, do it, Zeb. Let's, or let's be just... restrained. <laughs> okay. So, how restrained am I? Very restrained? Or are you like drowning in restrained? Or... Uh, you're not drowning. Uh, you're, you're, I guess your head's out of it. Uh, but you are restrained. Uh, it can restrain up to four medium or one large creature. Um, let's see. On a failed save, the creature is restrained as engulfed by water. It just doesn't say they're drowning. So I guess their head's above water. But That's it. But he's like in water. Okay. You're like in water. I've got like a floating ball of water. Just its concentration lasts until, I don't know, lasts a minute. Did you fail your save, Zeb? Is that the deal? Yeah, I rolled two. Right, so you stuck I had a two. Okay. All right. So that was Zeb. Um, Pleadle, you're stuck in the force thing, right? Yeah, in the sphere of force, I fog up the glass or whatever, and I drew a little heart with a P plus S in it, and I point Salida and wink. Oh, okay. <laughs> She'll probably come up to the, the glass, like, put her hand on it, you know. All right. Uh -oh. uh, then the other team, you have Mistletoe, Ramrod, and Lynette. So Mistletoe and Ramrod, you were in the water, making a great time, and all of a sudden, your pterodactyl oh, like, ah! as well, no, because the moment that that happened and the uh -huh. spell magic happened, I, I would simply touch it again and re recast freedom of movement. So okay. uh, he would just keep on flying. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to have Ramrod kind of grab our brick because he's on the tail end of this, and we're going to move straight up oh. as soon as we get our brick. Well, assuming we get our brick, the idea is we'd go, we're not going to go back the same way. We're going to fly straight up and into the air and fly across the ocean back towards the city. Okay, so let's do your... So you you, you get your thing going, you fly towards the yep. brick area, make an investigation to find a brick. You can both do it if you want. I use a nat 20. Oh, you find it! Oh. And then you're going to come out of the water. So Rain, you're down there like looking for your brick. You can't find it. All of a sudden, these two riding a pterodactyl underwater. They kind of yoink, and they, whoosh, and they take off. And what about Lynette? You're swimming out there. Are you going to keep swimming? or you... Can I see them when they pop out of the you water? You see them pop out of the water. I'm going to dimension door on the back of this. On the oh, back well, of hold on. It's, 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 the ter it's not that big. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. I mean, right. You're pretty, you see um, it, and it's barely see... holding two. So, uh, I don't know so it's just want. a net in this, just alone in the water. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to turn around some of the other way. How far away are the, <laughs> are the tunnel snakes away from... They're on their way back, so I don't know. Not not too far from coming back. Back. Why? Are they within five hundred feet? Yes. I will dismiss the wall of force, and I will like a upset Lynette will dimension door onto the back of their pleosaur and just say, "I just want to get out of the water. <laughs> I just want to get out of the water." The back of the dinosaur has got to be pretty slippery, huh? <laughs> Lynette, does Lynette have to make some sort of check? Oh, from the guts? <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll do this. Okay, okay dex save, lucky. yeah. Dex share. 17. I cutting words it. <laughs> <laughs> Counterspell <laughs> Counter <laughs> it. I'm staying on this dinosaur. Counterspell? <laughs> you should have chosen me, Lynette. And I just like foot in your face. <laughs> It's just like words. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So basically, what we got looks like the Wanty are in the lead, but then the other, the two on the flying creature are definitely catching up fast. Now, Rain, just make another roll. I want to see how long it takes you to find your brick before you can make your way back. Oh boy. Let's see. <laughs> That's, uh, hang on. It's investigation. That's going yeah. to be ooh, an 11. Mm, try again. <laughs> a nineteen. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you eventually you all get your things right. So the Wan T group is going to get to the final leg first, and so they 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 lead you to a Triceratops, um, and it's got a, it's got like a platform on its back with a crow's nest like on a ship, so you can climb on that. They give each of you a shield and a whip that you could use. They say, you you can use these on the other Triceratopses, but I know you guys are doing your own thing, so whatever. <laughs> all right, so you guys kind of clamber on yours. You're getting all set up. Toe and Ramrod and Lynette come up, and they're getting on the other one, and then the straggler team reunites, and they're getting on theirs, okay? So 
we're going to do one round of Tritera Triceratops Madness. And then we'll probably we'll see how that goes. And if necessary, we'll just make a final roll to see who won the race. Okay. <laughs> but I would say right now the Wanty are in first. The Mistletail Ramrod Lynette are in second. And the uh, Tomb Slayers are in third. Okay. So here we go. Fi this is it. This is final round of full round action. So below your wad or whatever. Okay. Uh, so the Tunnel Snakes. <laughs> You're on a gigantic Triceratops. One of you should be driving. Um, and that's up to you to decide who. So at the end of your this group round, you'll need to make an animal handling check. And that's going to determine how fast you're going. Okay? So that's All right. up to you guys to decide who's going to make that roll, if anyone. Or you're going to let him run willy-nilly and just see what happens. Uh, Ryan but... drew for us last Yeah, time. Orion's, the, Orion's proficient in animal handling okay. and will All right. probably, yeah. So, we'll do. humility. <clears throat> uh all three Triceratopses are running. You see Mistletoe and Ramrod and Lynette close to you, and kind of a little further behind are the others, but they're all, you know, within striking distance, and uh, it's, it is, you know, fairly, you know, close. So, I would like to look over at Lynette and Friends Dinosaur and cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter on it. Oh. I require a wisdom save. Oh, it has a zero. Here we go. Can I use one of the nat 20s for that? Yeah! All right. Used. So Humility tries for Tasha's oh. hideous laughter on the dinosaur, but it's blocked by some unseen magical yes. force. Can I use oh. um? Can I use Lucky on that? What is that? Do? I believe that I can. Sure, and I'll use a second nat 20. Uh, <laughs> well, all right. Can I use Lucky on that? <laughs> Sure, and I'll get the final nat know. twenty. I have I one more lucky point. Damn I cast. I lucky my. I lucky the lucky. <laughs> <That's so funny>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well, I, I allow right. Lynette to lucky the lucky. So I. So here's what I guess I have to make a save for the triceratops, <laughs> right? And then you guys are gonna modify it with your lucky dice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This triceratops has no idea what's happening. Plus zero. I know it's. Just, <laughs> I have to imagine both Lynette and Humility have like a math symbol being going on while they're staring at each other. Well, this is actually pretty fitting. It's a Triceratops. It has three horns, right? He rolled, rolled a three. three! Oh, this poor baby. So, now, Humility, you wanted to lucky that? So, well, in the end, isn't it just that the luck, the if you do lucky, you get to choose which of the dice? Mm -hmm. So, if if Lynette is also oh, luckying this, I see. Right. can she just choose the natural twenty? I'm yeah. I'm okay with that. I can know this poor animal. Yeah, I think it's a natural twenty. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, that's fine. Okay. All right, is that is that it then? For humans? Yeah, I think that's all I can do. <laughs> oh, Ryan, you driving the Triceratops? Oh, before that, if they before he rolls, he rolls a three because I can say it for a three as a divination wizard. Okay. Uh, as the, like, am I, do I have to do anything else other than the, uh, uh... Driving would be your action, pretty much, yeah. Driving would be my action. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think I probably just am going to drive, but I will cast Guidance before I do that. Oh. And you got Blast on it. I could have done a bonus action. Yeah. Um, can I, I'll just, get Orion, Bardically inspire you, so you have a D8. Some nice. Point. Humility just says, don't mess this up. Right. And bless. The three with a whole bunch of modifiers. Right. <laughs> it's so good. It's I'm, I'm, I mean, like, my base is 11 with yeah. the three plus my proficiency. So it's yeah, just, it's going to be... Gonna I have to use it at least once. I, except, 50, uh, 21 is what I roll. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> so you got a 21, and then, Lynette, are you doing anything to that? No, nope, I did what I what I was going to do to it. Oh, okay. So you got, mm -hmm. you got a 21. Okay, you got so a, bunch of, a bunch of modifiers. So are you, wear, are you wearing your crown? Oh yeah, he's got his crown on, and he's you know. People are like, uh, look, it's the dinosaur king! Ah, and they're like, hey! and you're like, hey, bah, 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 bah. okay. <laughs> All right, that was uh, Orion Salazar. You're on a speeding Triceratops. Yeah, and uh, Salazar is going to cast Create Food and Water to drop a bunch of food behind our Triceratops since we're in the lead and distract the other Triceratopses. Mm. <laughs> now run. <laughs> What's the cast? I'll simply tell my. I promise with speak cast with animals. I promise my triceratops more food if it ignores it. <laughs> <laughs> How smart is it? <laughs> it's a. It's cast time one action. 
This forty five pounds of food and thirty <laughs> gallons of water fall out behind our triceratops. Let's just yeah, so, let's use our flavor packet. Flavor packet, just eat. <laughs> Promise the flavor packet. That's where so no! the food and water drop down. So no! he's just, he's just trying to uh, <laughs> No Continuous no 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 you can't use the flavor, but it's spite. It's like spite. <laughs> I gotta but, find some of this Dorito it's, dust now. It's, it's shift spice. If you do that, of course they're gonna go get it because shift spice is incredible. It doesn't come in packets. That's all. All right, but wait. So you created the food and water. That's what you did on your round. Yeah, he's just trying to uh, distract the the triceratops, but with with a bunch of food that just drops in their path. Like whoa. Okay. So all right, that's that's the first group. Second group, tomb slayers. Rain, Zeb, and Pleetle. So Rain, you get to go first. Food okay. just appeared in front of your Triceratops. So you All got right, two Rain things you're will... to deal with here. Someone's going to have to drive your Triceratops, and the other one's going to have to deal with the Triceratops that's about to be distracted by food. All right, so Rain will uh, cast Fly at fourth level on herself and the Triceratops, putting herself in front of it as like a guide so that it's focused on her, and pulling it by the by like the front. like. And I yell at Pleetle, Make it go faster, Pleetle! Haste it up! Let's go! And I'm just, I'm like flying ahead of the Triceratops and, and pulling it like, I'm the guide. Okay. I'm not riding so, it, I'm pointing where we're going. Make it animal handling, please. Alright, so I'm, I'm Superman and Lois lading this. Mm -hmm. uh, that is gonna be a nine. <laughs> I'm pulling on the thing! I'm gonna use Divine Soul and give you an extra 2d4 on that. Ooh, okay, so that's nine plus... Nine plus four. Oh, okay, so, so that's, that's uh, thirteen? 13. What is the DC for this creature? So, yeah. Uh, but now, now, I'm not trying to grab it. I'm like, I've got it by the, like, collar. Like, I'm showing it where so to go. I'm not on the 13 back. 13 is what you got? I had a 9 plus Zeb said he rolled 4. Plus 8. Four, oh, plus 8. Four, so, two, 7. Four. Okay, so 17. Oh, okay. All right, well. All right, you guys are flying now, so you just you're pulling wood. You're going to pull right by everybody. Uh, assuming, all right, that was Rain's turn, so it is not distracted by the food, and it's flying. Okay, got it. Zeb, what do you want to okay. do? I'm willing to wait to use my, like, ready a spell for, uh, Pleetal to cast haste on it, if <laughs> Pleetal's fine with that. Okay. Okay, with haste, doubling the move of fly, how far away are we from the tunnel snakes? You, well, you're, you're very close to them, but you're gonna pull right by them. Oh, okay. As we pull right by, I continue my, and I use a wall of force sphere on them. No, wait. You did you cast haste? No, Pleetle does. Oh, so you, all right. Well, oh, who's no. going to? Who's just using an action to drive? Well, somebody needs to do that. Otherwise, you're is rain is rain not with the animal handling? Well, she cast fly with her action, and so what she did with her check was to keep it from eating the food. But we still we'll still need a driver. Uh, Pl Pleel, are you fine with just driving instead of pace? I have bad news for you guys. Okay. <laughs> What's the bad news, Pleetle? I, as as you look, the Pleetle on the dinosaur is actually a major image, and the real Pleetle is off in a cafe on the sidelines. Oh, no. Salida. <laughs> <laughs> they have, like, a rat, and they're slurping the tail, like, uh, <laughs> and just... Why? <laughs> I look at Zeb and Why I Why did you do that? Pleetle, <laughs> Pleetle, Pleetle! Um, in the why is he <laughs> uh, okay? I'll just so let this Zeb, it's, it's just it's just Zeb. Zeb, you, you're gonna drive. Zeb, drive it, Zeb drive with it. his new hobgoblin rage and thaumaturgy, yells at Pleito Flop, and you just hear thundering through the streets. Pleito. <laughs> <laughs> like... So it means he uses action to cast thaumaturgy instead of driving, right? Yes. <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> so we've got a flight. Okay, <laughs> and so like, and no and there's food wins. on the ground. I'm just gonna point that out. When T, you see like, <laughs> when T, you see like a flying triceratops that's pulling right by you. All of a sudden, it's just like, you know, just, <laughs> tricer <laughs> triceratops saw something interesting, and it's like, and people are like, ah, you're like running away. Right. Into the ground. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um, group three. Uh, it's just you and the Wanty, and the Wanty are ahead. So, uh, Mistletoe, what do you want to do? Uh, 
I'm curious, um, Lynette, do you have anything um, up your sleeve to help us? No. No? Nothing, um, <laughs> nothing helpful, nothing that will not hurt this animal. <laughs> uh, not that will, uh, <laughs> Ramrod, can you take the wheel? Go ahead and kill take, it. Take no. <laughs> Why not? Uh, sure. Are you, are you, are you, did you have a plan? No. Ramrod's a little distracted by the food, maybe even more so than the dinosaur. Oh, yeah, that's right. You do have food that you'll have to deal with, too. Yes. Or, well, I, I'm, I'm just continuing to speak to the animal, and I'm going to make it all of the promises that a druid can make to a beast about how awesome the food will be once we are pressed the finish line. This is nothing compared to the stuff I've found in my jungle. Okay, you know, I really think food. you should drive. All right. All right, that's fine. I'll drive. Now, wait. That means no, no wanna... funny... Do you want to business. make the driving check, or do you want to try to convince it not to eat the food? Those are like two separate things. Is, isn't speaking a free action? Yeah. Okay. Okay, then I'll, I'll free action convince it while so, I am driving. All right, so which check do you want to make first? The speaking or the driving? Uh, the speaking. Okay, so make either an animal <laughs> handling or a diplomacy. So is a 16? All okay. Right. All right. So now you want me to drive? Yeah. Oh, that, uh, the Triceratops like, oh, you're right. I, well, okay, great. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Let's then, go, little buddy. Gonna, yeah! <laughs> What'd you get in your driving check? 16 as well. Okay. All right. Mistletoe. All right. You guys are... So that's my action. All right. No magic. <laughs> All right. So, Rimrod. Yeah. All right. So... You're pulling close to them. They're ahead. So, oh, I want... Magic. Ramrod's going to swing down. And you know, hold on to the harnesses under Triceratops and try to scoop up as much of the food as we go by. Yeah. And bring it back up on top. Okay, make <laughs> acrobatics, I guess. I don't know. Uh, 18? Trying to seduce it. You do. Okay. So, you know, here you are. You know, here's this race. It's very close. You climb nice. underneath. You grab food. You climb back up and... How and and bonus we... action, I open a flavor packet. And... No! Yes! <laughs> How? Your Triceratops is slowing down so much right no. now. <laughs> How did you do this? This um... is a day at the races. <laughs> <laughs> Special edition. Ruin it with your flavor packet. And, your dice are slowing down out. so much right now. Ramrod yells out, thank you, Salazar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lynette, it's up to you. They're ahead. <laughs> Pretty far ahead. Cast. You see Ramrod delicately turning over the, the container and putting some shift spice on it, which sparkles. And like a I take some of it. I take like an apple. Um, <laughs> okay. I will cast reduce <laughs> on their triceratops. Ah! <laughs> I will counter spell that. Oh, no! <laughs> no! I thought you had. <laughs> No! <laughs> Cast it at a higher level. Great idea! <laughs> I haven't used my reaction yet. I can't spell her counter spell. You got your. your what you're what? gone. You uh, I'm I'm so busy yelling. Never mind. Never mind. You're out in Fort Nine Zaru somewhere. <laughs> I throw my hat at. at I throw my hat at the movie. <laughs> I fall up and. <laughs> the... I would like to catch the hat and throw it. <laughs> <burn it. laughs> I first rolled a hitter with the hat. <laughs> 16. It's good. Humility, here it comes. You want to try to catch it? Yeah. All right. Let's oh, go. I use a natural 20. Oh, with a natural <laughs> 20. So you can just put it, have it land right on your head. You want. <laughs> yes, dear. And uh, I believe then yes. you cross the finish line as she puts the hat on. Snakes, snakes, snakes. And the Tunnel crowd... snakes rule. No and time the... to cast Wall of Stone at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Uh, Everybody just splat. The crowd in the arena is like, what? What was this? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Praise Dendar. Do we have to give them rewards for this? Yeah. <laughs> I hand out a couple flavor packets. Yeah. <laughs> Salazar takes the flavor really packet. Cool. Defending champions two time day at the races. Two as times, you, baby. As two you, well times. As you start to hand out the packets, the guards tackle you. <laughs> <laughs> rain, points, rain points their triceratops right toward the uh, veranda where Pleto is eating with Sita and just is like, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right. All well, the dinosaurs. The oh, cat. this is really crazy. It was, uh, <laughs> it was nuts. It was a day at the races, everybody. Thank you uh, um, to Rudy Rutenberg, who wrote this adventure. Yes. Awesome adventure. I love it. It's my favorite fifth edition adventure. Um, I have a few plugs, but there's like two million of us. Uh, <laughs> all, so all of us on Twitter. I just want to thank everybody for playing. You guys are awesome. This pretty much caps off our Tomb of Annihilation campaign. So, uh, from here, we'll be doing some DMs Guild adventures. Because uh, there's a whole bunch of really cool ones coming out. So, I figure we'll just do those because they all look really awesome. Like the Raven Queen one and the Blood War one and the Lich Queen one. They all look great. So, I think we're just going to do those. And don't forget, everybody, that next week is the Stream of Many Eyes. <clears throat> it's a D&D thing. And uh, I'll be covering that on my blog. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch every show. I'll write recaps of every show. And every night on this channel, once the day is done, I'm going to do like a recap show. So, and, and I'm going to, I don't drink ever, but I'm going to have like a sip of a drink. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And it's going to get a little whack. All right. So thank nice. you, everybody. Thanks for the bits. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody, for playing. And we'll, uh, and uh, I will have Dungeon Academy tomorrow at 630. So come on and check that out. And RPGN is tomorrow on the WebDM channel. It uh, one, it's at 2 p.m. Eastern, and that's a, that shows you clips from all these different shows. It's really well done. It's like the ESPN of D&D, &D, so you should definitely check that out tomorrow. It's, 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 like, really good. So thank you, everybody, and we'll talk to you later, and thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye.